You know these mornings. They are just part of being human. We don't always wake up feeling motivated and energised. Some days we just aren't feeling it. Some days when we wake up, we don't even want to talk to or see other people. If you know these mornings and you have experienced them, then this video is for you. These mornings can be seen as an opportunity to nurture yourself compassionately and grow in your ability and awareness to surrender. These suggestions are not particularly revolutionary or even new, but they work and their power remains in how much you consciously engage with each activity as you allow the feelings to take their course within you with no resistance. Embrace the concept of retreat and nurture and choose this morning to do a little more of what sparks the light in you. Water is the most abundant element in our body. It is responsible for every single chemical reaction, physical action and information transfer that takes place in the body. Drinking living water first thing in the morning allows us to function and thrive at our most optimum level. Getting a dose of inspiration in the morning from podcasts, audiobooks, or YouTube videos is a powerful way to raise your energy levels and state of being. Les Brown said that whatever you hear in the first 20 minutes upon waking controls the spirit of your day. So make sure that you skip your social media apps and go for the good stuff first. Go for whatever it is that you desire to create for yourself, rather than reacting to what everyone else wants for you. He smiled at the girl with infinite compassion and asked, do you have the courage? Do you have the courage to bring forth this work? The treasures that are hidden inside you are hoping you will say yes. And try and get outside for a walk with whatever it is that you're listening to. If you don't have much time, at least get outside on the grass barefoot to earth yourself. The benefits of earthing occurs through the natural design of our body to work coherently with the earth. When you put your bare feet on the earth, you absorb the electron-rich negative charge that is emitted. This charge promotes a stable bioelectrical environment within us, which is key to regulating our body's nervous system that directs all of our complex processes and organs. When these are in harmony, we experience clarity, vitality, and general well-being in mind and body. If getting outside isn't possible, the act of nurturing houseplants and pets works in a similar way. Nurturing other beings fuses your spirit and physicality to create intelligent harmony within the body's subtle energetic field, promoting greater connections to your intuition, creativity and ability to be present in the now. There are countless studies that confirm what we already know anecdotally, that when you look good, you feel better. The humble morning shower does more than just wake us up. A warm shower can improve oxytocin levels in the body as the warmth of the water works as a trigger for its release. Many studies show that oxytocin helps to lower levels of anxiety and stress, as well as promote the urge to bond with others. This is particularly important if you wake up feeling unsocial, but have no choice but to go to work or school. Research also shows us that the clothes we choose to wear has a profound psychological and behavioural consequence for us. So on these mornings, it is important more than ever to wear something that makes you feel comfortable, beautiful and confident. Even wear that piece of jewellery or clothing or lipstick that you have been saving for a special occasion. This is a special occasion. When you choose to consciously move through these feelings, you are creating a level of understanding. So many people know something intellectually, but have not yet been able to turn it into understanding and wisdom through the bridge that is experience. These mornings are your experience. In the words of Hong Curley, wisdom can only result from the harmony of information and experience. One without the other is futile. 
Think of a blueberry. If you have never tasted one, you can only know that it is sweet and soft by someone telling you. To turn this information into understanding, you must taste it for yourself and experience a soft burst of sweetness on your tongue. So see these mornings as an opportunity rather than an obstruction. When you choose to move through them consciously, choose to take responsibility, you are growing something so unique and valuable to this world. That is true understanding, just like tasting a blueberry. Speaking of food, ritual number five is all about nourishing your body. There is so much conflicting information on how and why and what we eat, but there is no greater information source than listening to your body. If you take some time to check in and ask what fuel it desires, you'll be surprised as to how much your body is speaking to you moment to moment. Ask simply by taking a few deep breaths, embracing a moment of stillness, and recognize your cravings as messages. Notice if you desire something light, cold and sweet like fruit, or something filling warm and savory like oats. Once you know what it is, go about preparing your breakfast mindfully, noticing the smells, sounds, tastes, textures of your ingredients, and acknowledging and thanking all the complex processes that were involved in them making their way to your plate. Ritual number six is movement. On these mornings, it is more important than ever. A gentle yoga flow or dynamic stretching is a type of movement that can be especially beneficial when we wake up feeling stressed, anxious, or the underlying general unease that is hard to label. Neuroscience tells us that it has amazing effects on our brain chemistry, especially those parts associated with higher order thinking. When we find ourselves in these lower vibrational moods, it is so easy to get caught up in the old stories and old patterns of thinking. We easily forget that the brain is designed to allow us to change. And as the saying goes, everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing oneself. And to change, we must take responsibility for doing things we don't really feel like doing. This is where the real work begins feeling resistance, but moving with it rather than fighting against it. Start slow, find a space and make it beautiful. Begin with one stretch and then listen, noticing what other parts of your body is calling for your attention. As you go, mindfully hold each stretch and breathe into the space and then release it with control. Simply following your body's lead, Ritual number seven is meditation. It has the ability to raise our personal energy vibration, which determines the nature of our life experiences. It raises our ability to be open to the field of information that exists in all things and retrieve the guidance that serves our highest good. It allows our brain and body to move into a state of coherence, promoting healing and optimizing the function of all our body's energy centers and their physical counterparts. The type of meditation you choose is completely up to you. If you're new to meditation, it will be beneficial to use a guide. On my channel, I have a 10 minute morning meditation that can help you get into a positive frame of mind for the day to come. If you don't want to use a guide, simply close your eyes and let that be a signal to turn your attention inward and move into the state of meditation where you are connected to higher realms of absolute intelligence and enjoy. <laughs>